Hello. Happy 6th of November. Is it the 6th of November? <laughs> it is the 6th of November. Anyway, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel. I am DJ Albertech, and uh, as you can see, I am in my car doing this video uh, just for you. Uh, just for all you people who are a bit worried about me doing a video while I'm driving, the camera is fixed. I am not touching the camera and I am sitting in traffic which is going at about one mile an hour. So realistically, am I going to have a crash at this sort of speed? Very doubtful. I'm keeping plenty of distance between the car in front of me and that. And uh, occasionally I will look down but that's predominantly when I stop. So moving on, what are we talking about today? Uh, today we're going to talk about Comet Ice On. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'll quickly do a brief recap. Basically, uh, the nuts and bolts, uh, one of the NASA videos, Comet Ice On Meteor Shower, it's called. Uh, the narrator says in it, or implies, that Comet Ice On will hit the sun. Now, let's put that aside, okay? If it does or doesn't, it makes no odds. Uh, well, it does make odds, depending, obviously, naturally. But my next question, okay? is based around the NASA trajectories. Now, the first trajectory they had to, well, they had to put our second trajectory for Comet Ice on, because obviously the uh, comet had changed course, uh, so they say. Um, now, a lot of people say, well, comets don't change course, they're very easily plottable and uh, it doesn't happen. Um, I'm sorry, but either they, NASA made a mistake on their first trajectory or comment has changed course. Either way, they've put out a second trajectory. Now, my question is around this trajectory. Now, what what I don't get, and uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, um, again, please take this as a question. Um, given the speed that the comet is traveling, given the distance it's got left to travel, uh, and given the uh, um, speed it will have to uh, maintain, during the course of that uh, travel. Um, the trajectory is a very, very steep trajectory. You know, it's not your classic orbital trajectory in a, in a not quite a circle, you know, more of an oval sort of pad. This thing's like a, this thing's coming in like an arrowhead. You know, it's coming in at an arrow sort of head and it's gonna be going out at an arrowhead sort of uh, angle. So it's very, very steep, almost like a V. Now, if you picture your V, dink, Here's the sun down here, and it's coming in at that angle, it's supposed to spin back out at the same angle. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but surely the physics of something traveling at that speed to then go around the sun and come back out at the same angle, I find hard to, uh, hard to believe. Um, purely because of the fact that surely if it's traveling at that speed, oh, I, I appreciate there's going to be some effect to the, uh, to the angle it's going to come out at on the opposite side, but not at such a steep angle which they've predicted, um, purely because of the speed it's coming at. Now if it's coming in at that speed, yes there will be some deviation as it spins round, but I don't think it's going to spin round all the way like NASA are predicted. There's no physical way it can spin round all the way around the sun given the angle it's coming in at. Given the angle it's coming in at, now you look at that angle, and then you look at the speed at which it's coming at, and then you tell me that yes, it will go around the sun and come back at the same angle. Interesting. Well, that's my question. Uh, have a look at the trajectories. Uh, ha have a look at how steep or how angular those trajectories are. And um, then uh, put into question your own knowledge on physics um, and then come back to me yeah interesting to hear your views interesting to hear your comments positive or negative keep watching keep subscribing and keep sharing I love you all <laughs> much love <laughs>